Ay, nahulog. Hey everyone, welcome to Sir Fox Learning Channel for today's video. Pag-uusapan po natin yung pagka-vlog is este gravitational potential energy. So, pag sinabi po kasi natin gravitational potential energy, usually yung pagka-hulog yung pinag-uusapan po natin dyan. So, bakit pagka-hulog? Kung gusto mo malaman, panuorin mo ang video lesson na ito. Kung bago ka sa channel ni Sir Fox, huwag mong kalimutang mag-subscribe at i-hit ang notification bell on para maging updated ka sa mga susunod ko pong video lessons. Happy learning, everyone! Alright, ang pag-uusapan niya natin ngayon ay patungkol po sa gravitational potential energy. We are done with Universal Law of Gravitation by Isaac Newton. Gravitational field at this point, ang pag-uusapan naman po natin ay patungkol po sa gravitational potential energy, which is the energy stored in an object due to its position above the Earth's surface. Mathematically expressed as E sub P, or sometimes U sub G, or sometimes PE, is equal to MGH, where M is mass, G is gravitational field. Constant of the Earth or gravitational field strength and height, H or is the height. So when we speak about gravitational potential energy near the Earth's surface, we actually use that expression or this expression, E sub P or U sub G is equal to M J H. So we, we, we could notice here that height is a big factor or gravitational potential energy is directly proportional to the mass and each height. Meaning to say, the higher the position, the greater the potential energy. The greater the mass, the greater the potential energy. Now, for instance, this man has fallen down. And ang, ang mass ng man na to is 75 kilograms. And the distance or the height where he falls down is 13 meters. Now, what is his gravitational potential energy? Mababasag kaya ang ulo niya? Huwag naman po sana. But for us to know kung gano'ng nga ba kalakas yung impact niya or gravitational potential energy, how strength, what out, gano'ng kalakas yung bagsak niya sa ground from the height of 30 meters. So gravitational potential energy is the is mathematically defined as mass times acceleration due to gravity of the Earth times the height of this man. So we just substitute the mass of the man is 75 kilograms. Gravitational constant of the Earth is 9.8 meters per second squared times the height where the man falls down is 30 meters. And that is equal to 22 1,050 newton meter or 22,050 joules because one newton meter is equal to one joule. Now, when we speak the gravitational potential energy of an object in the space, objects that are not near the surface or objects that are, that are not near the surface of the earth we can have gravitational potential energy also. For instance, we can calculate the gravitational potential energy of a system containing the Earth and Moon. So isang example po yan. And this pres, uh, represents the amount of work that it would take to bring the Earth and the Moon from infinity far away from each other to their current locations. 
for the moon to leave the gravitational field of the Earth, an amount of energy equal to the gravitational potential energy of the Earth to moon system would have to be added. Okay? So for objects, between space near Earth or for objects in space towards Earth, the gravitational potential energy is defined as negative G or uh, this is gra gravitational constant, universal gravitational constant. Kanina yung 9.8 is acceleration due to gravity constant. Ito, gravitational constant, which is 6.7 times 10 to the power of negative 11 newton meter squared per kilogram squared times the mass of the first object times the mass of the second object all over the distance. So, ito po ay ginagamit po natin kapag yung objects ay nasa space at possibly maka-apekto sa gravitational potential energy ng Earth. So for example, bakit negative itong G? Bakit nagiging, naging negative itong G? Naging negative itong G kasi nga, uh, kung ito yung ating ano, plane, Cartesian plane, and objects were here, and the Earth is here. Ito yung Earth. Let's assume na ito po yung Earth. So yung, itong Earth na to, or any object which falls down from this space. Halimbawa, ito po yung space na to. Nandito po yung space. Kasi we are talking about objects in the, at the space. At yung mga objects na yan ay hinahanap po natin yung kanilang gravitational potential energy towards Earth. Kaya naging negative yung ating gravitational constant dito kasi nga, Lahat ng object which falls down to this ay nagiging nagkakaroon ng negative gravitation. Okay? So, for instance, we have an unidentified object here at this point 1. So, the distance is at point 1. And Let's assume that the mass of this object, an identified object, is 2.3 times 10 to the power of 6 kilograms. While the Earth, of course, 5.97 times 10 to the power of 24 kilograms. And the height or the distance between that unidentified object towards the Earth is equal to 3.6 times 10 to the power of negative of 12 meters. So what will be the gravitational potential energy of that object, an identified object at the space? Solve for gravitational potential energy, which is mathematically expressed as U sub G is equals to negative G times the mass of the first body or object times the mass of the second object all over R. By substitution, our gravitational constant is 6.67 times 10 to the power of negative 11 Newton that meter squared per kilogram squared times the mass of the first object, the, the unidentified object, 2.3 times 10 to the power of 6 kilograms times the mass of the Earth, 5.97219 times 10 to the power of 24 kilograms all over the distance of this unidentified object to the Earth, 3.6 times 10 to the power of 12 meters. So we will get the product of the mass of the two bodies, the Earth and the unidentified object, the unit measure will become kilogram squared and therefore we, we can cancel it to the kilogram squared 
which is one of the unit measure in the gravitational constant. And therefore, we have now 9.16193667 times 10 to the power of 20 newton meters squared all over 3.6 times 10 to the power of 12 meters. And therefore, we can cancel uh, one of the meter here. And finally, you may have negative 2.54498241 times 10 to the power of 8 newton meter or 2.5449841 times 10 to the power of 8 joules. So for gravitational energy, height is a factor. For gravitational potential energy, height is the factor. For instance here, the blue skier has more gravitational potential energy because he has a greater height. However, in the, in the second figure, the green one has more gravitational potential energy because he has more weight than the yellow one. Again, probably we, once uh, this happens, once the object is near the surface of the Earth. Okay? Maraming pong salamat sa pakikinig. Sana nga po ang video lesson na ito ay nakatulong po sa inyo. At kung bago ka sa channel na ito at nagustuhan mo at nakatulong po ito sa iyo, lalo na kung ikaw ay kumukuha ng STEM at General Physics 1, sana huwag mong kalimutang i-click ang subscription button at ang notification bell all para maging updated ka sa mga susunod ko pong video lesson. Maraming pong salamat. Happy learning, everyone.